On today's Smart Robots review, we're going to go over Cosmo's software update that is full of features and great new capabilities for Cosmo. Stay with me. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and we're here to talk about the updated Cosmos software. And here you can see it starts off with a nice splash screen. This is something new, telling you about a new feature or something fun you can play with. By the way, if you haven't seen my previous review of Cosmo, please check it out. We also did an episode on the coding part, so that's going to be great. I'll include that in the description below. Now, let's go back to this interface. This is brand new. The blue signifies the amount of sparks that Cosmo has accumulated. The red indicator is meant to show you if Cosmo needs a tune-up. And if he does, the software, this application, is updated to allow you to, in a sense, give Cosmo a tune-up by pressing a few buttons. It's really easy, we're going to go over that today. Finally, the middle part, the yellow part, is an indicator of Cosmo's happiness. And you keep him happy by playing with him, by learning with him, by interacting with him. So let's take a look. Let's start with tune-up. Here's the application I was talking about. You click the button, it does a scan. Oh look, the treads need some alignment. So I'm going to press a few buttons as indicated. Down, up, down, down. Every time it will be different. And that's it, Cosmo is ready to go. If you recall from the full review, Cosmo needs sparks in order to do his tricks and play games. Now how do you earn sparks? Anki has made it really easy this time around. All you have to do is shake one of his cubes really fast, it charges up the cube, and then, just like that, and Cosmo in return will approach the cube and drain that energy. <laughs> It's all very visual, very cinematic, classic Cosmo. He's going to approach the cube and he's going to drain the energy. Actually, you're going to see the blue energy fade away. Ah. <laughs> okay, notice in the application the spark meter indicator went up a notch and after two more tries it will fill up the entire bar. I think you get the idea. Now moving on, we filled up both the tune-up bar and the spark bar. But how do we elevate the happiness meter of Cosmo? Well, you have to play games and you have to interact with them. That part of the application hasn't changed much, but it is better organized and there is a new game. So let's click play and take a look. And you can spend your sparks by getting Cosmo to do a trick or playing a game. One new game has joined the fray here. It's called Laser Chaser. So I tried it out and let's see what happens. All right, if he starts meowing, I'm leaving the room. <laughs> with this update, Cosmo also gained the ability to sing. And if you interact with him on a daily basis, you can unlock songs and other tricks, but you gotta play with them. Now, when you do unlock a trick or a song, you may get a message like this. For example, I unlocked Pop Goes the Weasel, but you should know you can't make Cosmo sing. If he's feeling like singing, he will sing, and he usually does when he's in the mood. There's a list of these songs that he already knows, and there's plenty more to unlock. So the more you play with them, the more of a chance you have to unlock more songs. And if you do catch him in the act, shake one of his cubes and his voice will change. I love this new update. There's so many new features to explore. It's great. Now, listen carefully as I caught him singing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. That's brilliant. I love it. There's so much more to see. 
Where should we go to next? Alright, let's start with Discover here. And Discover houses many applications that we're used to seeing with Cosmo and some new ones. They've also taken the opportunity to reorganize the application with nice colors and nice tabs over here on the bottom. You see featured projects, sandbox mode, and constructor mode. And this is going to make complete sense to you in just a minute, I promise you. Light show is especially a lot of fun. This is one of Cosmo's new capabilities, and we're going to take a, take a look at that in a bit. Let's take a look around here. So there's Tiny Orchestra. Magic Fortune Teller, Fire Truck Alarm, Hot Potato, all these new fun capabilities for Cosmo. Now in Sandbox you can create your own programs from scratch, just like in the original version of the software, and there's some examples here. Uh, some of these capabilities are already here for you to look at and try to customize further, like, oh this is a new one, Intruder Alert. So here's an intruder alert program. Obviously Cosmo will use his sensors to detect motion and once he does he will speak the phrase or word that you enter into the program. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I love the way he says things. All right, let's move on to constructor mode. And in constructor mode, there's additional sample code that you can customize further, like for example, making Cosmo to display a clock. So here's the code for that. Let's try it out. See, look at that. Will wonders never cease with this little guy? Awesome. All right. Time to return to the main page of feature projects. And let's finally look at Light Show. This is one of the new programs and new capabilities for Cosmo. It says turn off the lights and press start. So let's do it. Alright, go Cosmo. So with this program, his light cubes light up in random patterns to match the dance rhythm. Of course, Cosmo can dance. <laughs> There's some Latin dancing right here. And I think you can even do some pop. Okay, let's move on to Cube Whack, and this is a hand-eye coordination game. Basically, the LED on top of Cosmo is going to display a color, and the player's job is to whack the cube that matches that color. You have to whack as many cubes within 60 seconds to win the maximum amount of points. Like that. There goes another one. All right, I think you get the point. Let's move on, see what happens in the end. All right, and in the end, Cosmo congratulates you with the amount of points you won. You won 10 points. I love the way he says things. The next application is called Tiny Orchestra, and here Cosmo becomes a maestro. So you can create your own music by tapping the cubes one, two, or three times under the guidance of Maestro Cosmo. Next, we're going to look at Magic Fortune Teller. Here, you ask Cosmo a question you always wanted to know about. Is Michael Jordan going to make a comeback? 
then shake him a bit. Ta-da! Buddy, I'm not sure about that one. Are the Cubs gonna win the World Series again? Okay, now this mode is called Fire Truck Alarm, and I don't fully understand it. But basically, you click start and... Funny Cosmo. Now, some of these you may not understand why they're here, some of these capabilities, but it does show you what Cosmo is capable of. And most importantly, you can see the code. So, there's the real value. Actually, seeing the code that drives Cosmo to do the things he does. Now, you can customize this code, combine it with other code. It's great, just like in a real world development environment. Alright, let's get back to... What were we? Oh yeah! Hot Potato! Let's play with Hot Potato! So here's a... game. You can play with Cosmo. Basically, Cosmo will claim a cube and you can include up to two other players. Lights will flash on the cube and you don't want to get stuck in the end when the cube turns red. So you gotta keep pressing on the cube when it's your time to tap it, like this. Then the pattern will speed up and continue until somebody is not fast enough to tap the cube. Sorry, Cosmo. Now, what happens when you get a message like this and your, one of your cubes is not working? Well, before doing anything else, I would go into the settings portion of this application. There's a nice utility that allows you to rescan your cubes. Place the cubes next to Cosmo, click refresh, and you're almost there. Now, if the battery of the cubes is running low, I have created a video just for that, and if you haven't seen that already, I will include that link down below in the comment section. And with that, I want to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it informational and helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section, and please consider supporting me. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, click the like button if you enjoyed the show, and join the Smart Robots Review fan club at the links I will provide below. Until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. Take it away, Cosmo.